straight lines and linear models. We need to plot the following points here. So 2, 3, x is 2, y is 3 is here. So we get a point at this point, 2 comma 3. Then you have negative 5, 2, so you can count like this, left side, negative 5, and then 2 will be here. So the point is negative 5 comma 2. Next you need 0, 0, which is here at the center or origin. Then you have 0, 3, so x is 0, y is 3. So it will be here, 0, comma, 3. Then you have 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, will be on x axis, 3, 0. And then you have negative 1, negative 3, negative 1 this side, negative 3 will be here. So this is the point you get negative 1, negative 3. So this point we say it is in the first quadrant. This is on the y-axis. This point is here in the second quadrant. This one is in the third quadrant. This is on x-axis and we do not have any point on the fourth quadrant. But if you write another point, maybe you can say x is 2 and y is negative 4. So then you can say x is 2 here, y will be negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can get a point here which is 2 comma negative 4 in the fourth quadrant. Next we want to see what does x equals 0, x equals 2, x equals negative 2 mean. What does y equals 0, y equals 2 and y equals negative 2 mean. When you have x equals 0, this is actually the line here where everywhere you have x equals 0. So then we say x equals 0 is the y-axis. Same way when you have y equals 0 this will be the x-axis. When I have x equals 2 everywhere, so this is a vertical line, so x equals 2 is a vertical line, 2 units to the right y equals 2 is the horizontal line, 2 units up, so 1, 2 units, this is y equals 2, this is x equals 2. Same way then you can say x equals negative 2 is the vertical line also, and that will go 2 units in the left side that you can say x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 2 is a horizontal line. So that one here, it's two units. So this one is y equals negative 2, this one is x equals negative 2. Next we see the formula to find distance between two points. Suppose P is the point here with x1, y1 and Q is the point x2, y2. So we need to find the distance between PQ which is the distance here square root x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared or you can write a square root x2 minus x1 squared plus careful should be plus here y2 minus y1 squared. Let me take an example. Say I have a point P57 and Q is at 2, 3. We need to find the distance PQ or you can call it D. So it will be 5 minus 2 squared plus 7 minus 3 squared. Simplify further, 5 minus 2 is 3. So you have a 3 squared plus 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 is squared. This is the square root of 25 and you can write as 5. So this is our distance between these two points. We need to find midpoint between P and Q. So M is the midpoint. It will be simple. The midpoint will be, you just add x1, x2 together and take half of it. x1, x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, this is your midpoint. So if you have P equals 5, 7 and Q is the point 2, 3, 
then their midpoint M will be 5 plus 2 is 7 over 2, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 over 2. Or you can write simply 7 over 2 comma 5. So this is the midpoint. We take an example. If the distance between two points, say P37 and Q is negative 1, A, A is unknown, but the distance is given as 16. So you need to find the value of A. You may have one or more than one. So what we do first, find the distance between PQ. So distance between PQ, you can write just PQ, which is square root of 3 minus negative 1, which will be 4 squared plus 7 minus a squared and this will be equals 16. Now if you square both sides you get 4 squared plus 7 minus a squared 16 squared is 256. Now here 4 squared is 16 so if you subtract both sides you get 7 minus a squared equals 256 minus 16 will give you 240. Now 7 minus a will give you plus or minus the square root of 240. Now in our previous examples you have seen how to simplify these to find exact answer. So 240 I can divide first with the square number 4. So we get 60, then again I can divide by square number 4, so then it's 15. So then from these two fours, I can take one four plus or minus, and then 15 under the radical sign. So my A will be equals now, so you move other sides, so you can say 7 plus or minus 4 is square root of 15. So this is my A value. We take another example where we can use the distance formula. A car and a bus leave a highway junction at the same time. The car travels west at 65 miles per hour and the bus travels south at 55 miles per hour. Assuming the car and the bus do not deviate off course, how far apart are they after three hours? So let us make a diagram. So we see that the car is heading west. So this is our car here. And then there is a bus is going like this in this direction. They have the distance in three hours. We can easily determine the car is going at 65 miles per hour. So in three hours, so car goes. 3 times 65 which is 195 miles and the bus goes 3 times 55 which is 165 miles. So then you can just plot something like this here. So the car is coming here and the bus is going here in 3 miles, uh, sorry in 3 hours. So we need to find this distance. So basically you are looking for this distance. So this is a right triangle here. You can just use a Pythagorean. So then that distance will be simply 195 squared plus 165 squared. And then you can take the calculator and round your answer to two decimal places. This will be 255.44 miles.